Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a huge accumulative clothing haul. Um, I've done quite a fair bit of shopping this year um, during quarantine, um, on Depop, in stores, all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to be doing a couple of clothing hauls coming up. This is the first one of a couple that are coming. And yeah, I'm going to get straight into it with some accessories. So I did go shopping at La Visa um, and I bought these two pairs of earrings. As you can tell, this is literally their Easter packaging because that's how long ago I purchased these. The first pair I got have these little bunnies on them. They're just little sterling silver rabbit studs and they're really cute. Um, I'm born in the year of the rabbit and so um, I really like rabbit things. And then the other pair of studs that I got are just these really basic two carat um, like diamond stimulant kind of vibe um, sterling silver studs as well. And I wear like studs all the time because that's like my preferred type of earring. It's just easy to wear, um, easy to style and it's simple. And so yeah, I got some plain diamond studs. I also got some studs from Sports Girl, but I've taken them out of the packaging because I've worn them already um, because it's been ages ago since I bought these. But these ones are little like stars. They're very pointy. Like this is like a very pointy earring. Um, but they look really cute on the ear, like a little ding. They just look like a little diamond and they're really cute. Um, they're just like a little silver star with a diamond ding in the middle. And these are also sterling silver as well. I only really get sterling silver earrings because they're going to last longer. So yeah, those are the earrings I purchased recently. And I also, this isn't purchased, this is refound. So when my dad went to, I think it was Chile ages ago, he bought this for me and then it went missing. And I think... I found it. So this I found in my house, but it's new to me because I haven't seen it in so many years. He bought me this um, little dolphin from Chile, I believe. It was from one of his work trips, like when I was a kid. So yeah, this is from ages ago. Oh, it is from Chile, it says inside. But yeah, it's just this really cute little dolphin. It's actually a pin, so I could like pin it on something, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to like, keep it as a cute keepsake, and I'm glad I found it. I found it in like a random back of the drawer, and I was like, what's that little blue box? And it was my dolphin that I've lost many years ago. Um, I'm going next into my Victoria's Secret haul. So I did do another Victoria's Secret order and I purchased two things. Um, the first thing is just a bra. I don't usually show my bras on this channel because it's boring, but this one is really cute. It's just this like little um, pink bra and it has like these really gorgeous like lacy details. I'm not one for lace. Um, usually I don't like any lace. I'm very fussy. I like plain, basic, boring. But I just thought this was really pretty and it reminded me of cherry blossom. In the center here, there's a little bow with this little heart shaped little pendant hanging off it with a little B and I just thought that detail was so cute. Um, the actual cotton, I think it's cotton, um, the actual like sides of the bra are really, really soft. These remind me of the Lululemon Align material, if that makes sense to you. Like it's really, really soft. And then at the back of the bra, it's really cute. It has this gorgeous detail. I'll just close the bra so I can show you better. It's just got um, two clasps, by the way. And then um, on the back of the bra, it has the really gorgeous like lace detail again, which is really pretty. Um, it has these straps that can also unclip. I'm not really sure um, like if you can take them off. I don't think you can, but I think you could crisscross the straps at the back so that you could um, crisscross the straps over. If you had a racer back thing, you could cross them and reclip them, but they can unclip at the back. They just can't unclip at the front. Um, it isn't... Um, padded but it is lined if that makes sense so it doesn't have like a um, push up inside um, but it does have like a lining so your like nipple isn't going to show through um, it says this lace is made with at least 50% recycled yarns a small way to support our planet the way it's made um, and I got a size 32a um, and it's called the lightly lined style so yeah that is the bra that I picked up this is from their new range but yeah I'm really excited for this bra it's just the perfect little like pretty pink color um, it's just so pretty I love all the details on it it's just so perfect um, and then the other thing I purchased from Victoria's Secret is something I'm really excited about it's this big fluffy pink robe I saw this robe last year they brought it out for the 2019 Christmas season and um, it sold out and then I really really wanted it and I regretted not purchasing it so I was stalking for it on Depop and I almost bought it from like I think it was three different sellers I was like going to buy it and then something would happen like they'd sell it to someone else on a different platform just as I was buying it or um, they realized they couldn't send to Australia because they were shipping from America or something and finally this year it did come back in stock for Christmas which was really lucky because I don't think they usually do that but this is just a plain pink um, robe it is so soft it is the softest thing ever um, I'll open it now um, but it's just a plain pink soft robe. I have some other robes from Victoria's Secret that are satin that I love and I wear all the time as you're probably aware of. I 
really wear the robes a lot. Um, but this one is a pink robe. Oh, the cardboard just fell out. And on the back it says Victoria's Secret. And it's just really pretty. It's this pastel pink color. I've got the size extra small slash small, um, but I think this could fit many um, sizes. Like it's a robe. Um, they also have larger sizes on the website as well and it came tied with this cute bow but yeah it's just a really nice detail that they have those little ribbon ties there so if you want to wear the robe it won't come undone if you tie up those ribbons um, as well as it has that little like tie over the whole thing I'll just try it on it's a really sweet color um, it's just off-white like it's just a little bit pink so it looks like this um, and then you can tie the inside so it will stay tied up so pretend I tied that here I'll just do it loosely to give you a vibe so if I did that, and then that was closed, and then it also has this like tie around the back, and it has little like loops on each side for that to stay up, and then I could just like tie that around the front. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna wear this so much. I'm gonna stand up to show you the length. The length is just before my knees, like it's like that, and then also it does have pockets, which is really cute. It has one on each side and they're really fluffy. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to wear this. Um, I'm gonna be wearing it a lot because it's really, really soft and comfy and beautiful and I'm obsessed with it and it has a really cute um, Victoria's Secret writing on the back. I'll just show you again. Just has a little like logo at the back. Um, it's so cute. I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I'm so glad I was able to get my hands on it. Okay, the next item I got was from Depop and this is from Lorna Jane. This is kind of different to the last item. This is um, a sports bra and I am obsessed with it. This is my favorite sports bra at the moment. If you can hear vacuuming in the background, I think my mum's vacuuming something. I don't think she knows I'm filming a video. Anyway, um, it's just a halter neck tank top. It kind of comes down at the front. Um, it has the little Lorna Jane um, like reflective logo there. Um, and then on the back, there's this really cute detail with the little like hanging Lorna Jane charm. Um, so it just looks like that at the back and it's an open back, which is really cute. And something really cute in the Lorna Jane um, clothing active wear line is they always have this little love heart in there which is so sweet they always have like a little love heart hidden somewhere on the item of clothing I believe this is the size extra small um, and it fits me really well it's got padding inside which is really nice because it means that like if I'm cold my nipples don't show through or something I just feel like it gives me a little bit of extra support while I'm training you'd expect this bra to not give very much support because it is a like backless halter neck kind of design but I do find that this is very comfortable and holds me all in place when I am in training but I do have a small size chest so also something to keep in mind but I really love this bra so this is just what the bra looks like on as you can see it's really really cute on me this is my favorite bra I've worn it a load before on my channel already but yeah it's just like a plain pink kind of neon pink um, halter neck sports bra and the back is open which is really cool and it just has a little detail on the back so yeah I love this bra so much I've worn it on my channel in like videos already and I've also worn it like to cheer a lot already. This is actually the like sports bra I chose to wear on my birthday this year because this year I had my birthday on a cheer night. So I wore this bra to training on my actual birthday this year. It's just my favorite sports bra. It's so cute and it's so flattering on and I just love the color and the fit and everything about it is absolutely my favorite. It's not my most supportive sports bra ever. That's still the Lorna Jane comfort bra, but that is my favorite sports bra in terms of aesthetics because it's just gorgeous. The next item I picked up was this. This is a item I also got off Depop. It is a Nike windbreaker. I wanted one of these for ages. I had one previously that was a really awkward colorway. I think it was orange here and purple here or orange here and purple here. It was orange and purple. It just wasn't something that I would like typically reach for. It was cool, but like I just prefer the black and white because it's more simple. Um, so I got this one. It's really cute. Um, I think I got a size extra small and it fits me really well. Um, I'll just try it on and show you guys what it looks like. So it just looks like this. It's got the Nike logo on the side here. It's got these little drawstring um, tabs so I can like tighten the hood if I want. It has got a hood. I really like this material from Nike because it is so like windbreakery. I really like this like inside material because it really keeps you warm when it is like windy outside. This really is like a really practical jacket for me. And then I love the zip, how it has this little detail here. 
it's like a little like Nike logo. I just think that's a cute detail on the zip. Um, it has got two pockets, one on each side, um, and they both zip up. And then it's got elastic on the wrists, and also at the bottom of it, this is elastic as well, which is really cute. Um, I like the way that this is white on top and black on the bottom. I just think it's a cute like colorway. I know there are some where it's black on top and white on the bottom. I just prefer the way this looks, and yeah, it's just my perfect dream Nike windbreaker. It's really easy to wear and throw on all the time. I wore it a load through winter. Um, I've worn all of these clothes already um, because I've had them for so long. But yeah, I've worn this a load through winter. I'm not sure if I'm going to wear it as much because we're going into summer now. But yeah, it's a really good essential and I'm glad I picked it up. It was quite affordable on Depop and I'm sure if you want to get one similar, just check on Depop because a load of people are selling them there. And they still sell them on the Nike website too. I think this is a discontinued style but Nike always has windbreakers so yeah, Nike Windbreaker. The next thing I have to show you guys today is actually something that was given to me by a friend. Um, this is from one of my friends at Chi. She gave me this um, hot pink like strapless dress. It's kind of got this like strappy um, bandage detail across the front. Sorry, that's just a bit of like setting powder. It'll come off. Um, but it's just this hot pink color and it fits me really well. It's from Bardo and it's a size European 34. US 2 and Australia and slash UK size 6. So yeah, it just looks like this. It's really good because inside it's also got that like sticky material so it stays up when I'm wearing it. And yeah, it's just a really cute dress and it fits me really well. I'll insert a picture of me wearing it here. So yeah, I'm not going to try it on just because you know what it looks like. But yeah, it's just a really cute dress. It unzips at the back and I'm very grateful for it. It also has a bit of stretch so it just like hugs the body really nicely and yeah I'm very grateful to have it in my life and I've been really enjoying wearing it out. So thank you very much Taylor for the dress. I love it. This next item I'm wearing right now and I also bought this from Glebe Markets. It's just a little red like slip dress um, and it just looks like this. I'll just stand up so you can see the length. So it's just like that on me. I haven't ironed it or anything yet, so sorry if it's a bit crinkly. Um, I'm not wearing a bra underneath it either, so I could wear a bra underneath this or like a stick on bra if I wanted to give a little bit more like support or like shape, but I don't really mind. It has these straps on the back that are adjustable as well as a tie up strap as well, which I've tied. Um, and it also has this little like peephole detail here, which has a tie on top of it. This is not a functional tie, like it can undo to become nothing, but I just like the way it looks when it's tied. I just think it looks more finished. Um, and what I loved about this dress the most was the gorgeous detail on the top here. I'm usually not one for lace as I've mentioned earlier, but this lace is like beautiful and it has like gold details through it. And I just thought this was absolutely stunning. Um, when I was at Glebe, I thought this would be like expensive, but when I asked the girl how much she wanted to sell this for, she said a really affordable price. And so I was really happy to buy it. Um, it's nice because it's adjustable, so you can adjust how you want it to fit on you. And it's just a really, really cute slip dress. I have some slip dresses um, in my wardrobe already. I have those ones that I bought from the mesh key sale last year. So I have a black one, a white one and a champagne one and I love wearing those all the time and I was kind of sad that I didn't pick up the red one in the sale so I'm really glad that I was able to find this um, slip dress instead because this one is red and I think it's really beautiful. This next dress I also purchased off Depop and I'm really glad I was able to find it. It's kind of a dupe for the Brandy Melville Robbie dress um, in the red but I kind of don't like the way that the Brandy Melville Robbie dresses fit on me just because the tie of the wrap always is like a bit too high for me like my waist hits there but the tie is like a bit higher and so I'm not able to cinch it in to fit me in a flattering way that I prefer. I also prefer the way that this um, flower looks I just think that this floral design is slightly a cuter flower than the Brandy Melville's red dresses flowers because I just like the way these flowers look more but yeah just has these cute little floaty sleeves um, it is a size 8 from Glassons but I purchased it on Depop I saw this a while ago when it was in stores at Glassons sorry my dog's barking in the background um, but yeah when it was in stock at Glassons I regret not buying it and so I regretted it so much that I ended up purchasing it on Depop but it was I think cheaper in the end on Depop so it worked out alright in the end um, it was in very good condition this is like brand new condition it's got no flaws or anything um, this is the hole for the little like tie to come through and then it just ties around you could um, have the tie at the back or you can tie it at the front I usually tie it on the side but you can have it wherever you want um, it's just a wrap dress and it wraps through itself up the hole and around it just looks like this at the front so that's how it looks that's the length of it I think it's really cute and it's perfect for 
like spring or summer and I'm really excited to wear this more. I've already worn this out so many times and I just think it's such a cute dress. Um, the next item I have is from my boyfriend. This is his top. It is from Con de Garçon and it's a size medium, although I know it's shrunk a lot. Um, but this is what it looks like and he's bleached it by accident. Oh, there's an ant on my shirt. Oh no, it's just some fluff. Um, he's accidentally bleached it when he was cleaning one time and so he did not want his shirt anymore and he said I could have it and I'm going to cut it in half and turn it into a crop top which I think is going to be really cute and also it has shrunk so it's a bit small on him but it will fit me now and it's got these two little love heart like patches on the side there and it's just a plain grey Comme de Garçon top so yeah I'm going to actually crop that right now so I just cut the shirt in half with a pair of like sewing kind of fabric scissors and so this is how much I cut off I cut off just underneath the stain and so this is what the top looks like now it looks so cute I'll try it on to show you guys because I'm really excited to see how it fits it's not like a perfect hem and I'm not going to hem it because I like the way um, tops look when they have a raw edge that's rolled up by itself so I'm just gonna leave it but yeah that's what it looks like now um, it's so cute I think I'm actually gonna wear this a low this summer this is what the top looks like now I'll show you how cropped it is it's really cute it's just like the perfect little amount of crop um, I could crop it even shorter but it will roll up by itself and get a little bit shorter as I wear it and as I wash it it's not like the most perfect straight line because I did have to go up in certain places to remove the stain um, but yeah generally I just think this is really cute and I'm excited to wear it alone this is a top that I also received recently well not that recently it was ages ago now but this was a gift from my aunt she didn't wear this anymore and so I thought I would wear it it's really cute and I love to wear it with skirts sorry my like camera is overexposed right now but like with a little skirt peeking out it's just so cute I usually wear this with like a black skirt um, but yeah it's just a cute little um, cable knit sweater in a navy colour um, and I love it so much. It's really trendy this season. I feel like everyone's wearing like little cable knit um, jumpers and stuff and yeah, I really like this one. It's just been a really practical piece. I've worn it all through winter. I've totally overworn this um, but yeah, I've just been really enjoying it. It's really warm and yeah, it was one of my staples this winter. Okay, the next couple of items I'm actually wearing. So the first one is this top. I bought this at um, Glebe Markets, which is a market that happens here in Sydney. It happens um, in Glebe and so it's called Glebe Markets and I just bought this like plain um, Levi's top. I kind of wanted to buy this Levi's top in Taiwan but they were always sold out of my size and I wanted to get it in white. Everyone else on my trip that I went to Taiwan with all bought Levi's tops in like a black and I wasn't really into the black as much. I'm not sure if anyone bought it in white but they didn't have white in my size in any of the stores that we went to so I didn't ever get one but I always wanted a like white plain Levi's top. I think it's a cute basic and it just looks really cute and simple and so this is the top I got I'll just show it to you it just fits like this um, and it's just a plain white Levi's shirt it does have a little detail on the um, bottom of the shirt here that little tag there um, and it just says Levi's on the top I got this in I think a size small or extra small I'll just check yes yeah, so I just checked and this is a size small and it fits me really well I love the way it like sits on the shoulder I just think it's like a cute length of the sleeve it's a cute fit and I can wear it like untucked or tucked into jeans especially I reckon speaking of shorts I actually got two pairs of shorts the ones I'm wearing are exactly the same as these except they're in a blue color um, so these are the black versions I really needed some new denim shorts because um, the shorts that I was wearing last summer are actually like three sizes too big for me I think that way not my size and it just wasn't working out they were always falling off me and it just didn't look right and I really needed new shorts um, so I got two pairs I got this black pair and I got the blue pair that I'm wearing right now um, I'll show you all the features on the black pair and then I'll show you what they look like on with the blue pair so these are the tongue-in-cheek short from Subi which is a brand that we have here at GP in Australia General Pants sells um, Subi but they also have their own online store if you want to shop um, Subi's website that's K-S-U-B-I anyway these are the tongue and cheek short in dusty black and they were originally $160 but I bought them on sale for $65 so they're really cute and they just look like this at the front um, they have the little um, Subi button there and then they button up I prefer zip up shorts but I'm not mad that these button up it gets the job done and then the back just looks like this they have this little like detail on the back with the little pluses and then it has the tag hanging out which is like the little logo they have um, I feel like there's a plus on these somewhere 
that I'm missing. Oh yeah, and they have the logo on the side here, which just looks like this. It's like a black glossy logo, which is just printed on. Um, they're just basic short shorts. I'd say they're probably higher rise on me. They don't fit my waist very tight, but um, they are a good length, so I really like them. And I got these both in a size 24, which is slightly big on me. They really do stretch out. The Subi jeans have like quite a bit of stretch, especially once you start wearing them. So I probably could have got a 23, but these were on sale, so these were like in the clearance rack. I just picked them up and they do the job. So I'll show you what they look like on the body. Um, the other shade that I have, the ones that I'm wearing, I just called the Club Blue. That's K-L-U-B. So these are the Club Blue ones. They just look exactly the same. Um, as you can see, they like don't fit my waist entirely, but it's fine. Um, and this is the color. Um, they also probably have that little detail there. Yep, so that's a little like Subi logo. And then I'll just show you what they look like on the back. On the back, they just look like this. They have the same little details on the back there. And yeah, that's what the pockets look like. Um, it's a really good length on me. It just comes as short as I'd want it to. And I like how the edge is raw because I like a raw edge. And hopefully as I wear these more and more, the edge gets like more and more frayed just because I really like the look of like frayed distressed edges on denim shorts. So yeah, these are my perfect new black and blue shorts, which I really, really needed. Um, the next item, and I think this is the last item I have here to show you guys today, um, is a dress. And I'm not gonna be trying this on because I'm not gonna be wearing this until Christmas, but I got my dream Christmas dress. I know that's really bizarre, but if you've seen my mood board for 2020, you'll have seen that this is one of the dresses that I've wanted for a long time. I've been manifesting this dress and it has come into my life. This is from Chi Chi London. This was my first time ordering from Chi Chi London and they were really good. It came like all right quickly. I bought this like in the peak of quarantine and like they shipped it pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, it just looks like this. Um, it's like a fitted dress at the top. It has this like bardo off the shoulder kind of design um, and it goes into a fitted like bodice kind of area. And then it is a flare skirt. So yeah, it's a really full skirt. It's got so many pleats in it. What does this tag say? Oh, it's to remove for the first time I wear it. Um, but yeah, it's just a really cute dress. I'll insert pictures um, of this actual dress from online because I think it's called the Jade Dress. I saw some pictures on the website which made me um, know that this was the one that I was looking for. But yeah, I just really wanted like a skater style like flare dress with an off the shoulder design in red this year. I had a look on Depop and these do also exist on Depop. So if you are looking for this dress, it does exist on Depop. It's called the Chi Chi Jade dress um, and I bought a UK size 6 in the colour red. So yeah. This is my Christmas dress for this year. It is my perfect Christmas dress and I'm very excited to wear it. And yeah, that is everything for my haul today. I just wanted to hop on here and show you some items that I've picked up um, recently because I've been accumulating these things for so long and putting off filming it for you guys. So I finally got around, just sat down and filmed some of it. There is a lot more coming, so please subscribe if you'd like to see more from me. Um, comment anything you'd like to see from me as well down below. Um, like this video if you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll see you in a future video soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.